Hi everybody, Chloe here. Today I thought I would show you um, my latest skincare routine because I seem to be getting a lot of very nice emails from people um, saying that my skin looks really nice, I've got a really good complexion, um, which is lovely to hear considering I'm 33, forgetting how old I am then. Um, so I thought I'd show you the products I'm using. I have to say first of all though that I have kind of been blessed with good genes because both my, both my parents have always had good skin and I have been lucky since a teenager. I never really got a huge amount of spots or anything like that. And I do really take care of myself. Um, I don't have too many crazy late nights. And um, I let my skin breathe a lot. If I don't have to wear makeup, I don't. Um, and I drink a lot of water. But anyway, let me start by showing you what I put inside before what I put outside. Okay, so you may have seen a little while ago that I did a post on um, Advanced Nutrition Programme. Um, well, I've been taking some of their Skin Omegas and also their Skin Vitality. The Vitality is um, vitamins. They're pretty big, but they're packed full of everything that you need. Um, let me show you. Here we go. Um, and if you don't always manage to have a really balanced diet, these are perfect for um, sort of giving you all the extra boost you need, especially in the winter, the cold months coming up. Um, they're also, um, the other thing that I'm taking are the omegas, like I said, and this is omega-3 and 6, um, which is essential fatty acids which the body needs. Um, it's very good for dry skin, uh, circulation, memory, um, and also mood swings, uh, sort of keeping your mood a bit more balanced, which I need. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm taking. One of the other products I'm taking from the same company um, is Collagen Support, Skin Collagen Support. And collagen's fantastic. It's sort of the glue which holds everything together in your body and is, uh, gives your skin strength, um, flexibility, um, and a bit more resilience. So it's also really good for anti-aging um, and just gives your skin a really lovely sort of uh, look to it. So I've been taking these for a little while now and I definitely think it's been making a difference. Right, moving on to what I put on the outside. Now this is a cleanser which I've recently been introduced to, um, Cetaphil, and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, you can currently get it in Boots and Lloyd's pharmacies here. Um, I think it comes from um, America. I know you can get it in Canada. Um, and it's just absolutely fantastic. It's got no soap in it, so it's really gentle and non-irritating to skin. You can even use it if you have eczema or rosacea. Um, it will just help clear up skin, make your complexion nice and clear and clean. Um, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I tend not to use a sort of a liquid cleanser like this on my face that you use with water uh, because I just generally don't use that kind of thing. But this one is fantastic and does not dry my skin out which is a uh, a problem that I have a lot. So, a really good one. So after using the Cetaphil in the morning, because I actually use a different one in the evening, uh, just to mix it up and make things a little bit more complicated. Um, after using that, I use this Hydra Skin by Darfan. Um, it's a serum and it's really sort of hydrating. You don't need much of it and, and it doesn't look like it's going to do a huge amount, but you just pop it all over your skin and it leaves you feeling really fresh. Um, your skin feels flexible, not tight. So I put this on before I put on a moisturizer. I've also been using Cetaphil's moisturizing lotion here. I've been using it for the same amount of time as their cleanser. It's fantastic because it's lanolin free, it's fragrance free, so it's also very gentle on the skin. It, um, it binds water to the skin, so it keeps you feeling really moisturized and hydrated for a long time, and you can also use it on very sensitive skin, so a good um, addition to your skincare kit and routine, um, and can pretty much be used on any skin type. In the evening, I use different products for my uh, skincare routine. Uh, the products I use in the morning are more about sort of freshening, waking me up, ready for my day at work. In the evening, it's more about pampering and relaxing and calming down before going to bed. Um, so this cleanser is by Declior Paris. It's um, a foaming cleanser. It's called Aroma Cleanse. Um, it foams when uh, in contact with water, um, and so it's a really lovely cleanser if people do like washing their face with water. Um, it's really, it smells beautiful and it's quite a soothing kind of scent which is why I really like it for the evenings. It gets rid of any impurities on your skin from the day, 
really soothes and calms the skin. It's actually really good for all skin types and um, sort of brightens your complexion at the same time so it has an added benefit of that. After cleansing my skin, um, I really love using oils at night time. Um, oils work really well with my skin because it can be really dry, especially in the winter. Um, and this is a really fantastic one I've started using. Um, not only is it a beautiful bottle uh, that looks really luxury and makes you feel a bit special, um, the product itself is wonderful. It absorbs really easily, it smells divine. Um, it's called Lerac Paris. Um, it's sensory oil with three flowers and it's a white collection. Um, this can be used on your face or your hair or your body. Um, it smells wonderful and it's just a really sort of comforting and pampering um, ritual really. A lovely, lovely product to use. Would make a great gift as well. And finally, um, for the eyes, I've been using Environ Sequence Eye Gel. Um, it's great, you only need a tiny little bit, it comes with a, a pump, um, just a couple of little uh, dollops under each eye, dabbed all around like this, um, and that really, really helps with the um, crow's feet and the darkness and the puffiness. Um, so I pop that on just before I go to bed, um, and it seems to work wonders, especially seeing as I have two kids who keep me up a lot of the time. So um, I do have slight dark circles sometimes, but it's not too bad, and I, I think that's a big thank you to this. Actually, I lied, there is one last product that I want to show you. Um, now, I've just started using this, so I'm not sure if it works yet or not, but um, I thought that I would show it to you now and then review it again in maybe a month to see the difference it has made. So it's called Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care and it's his Lashes to Die For um, Nighttime Eyelash Conditioning Treatment. So um, I'm expecting huge, big, thick, long luscious lashes very soon. <laughs> um, uh, it's like an eyeliner, as you can see, so you just run it along um, your lash line and uh, I'm hoping for miracles. This one's come from Cult Beauty, um, so let's see what happens. I will keep you informed. But there you go, that is the um, skincare routine I'm using for the moment, but as I've explained before, I am a, frickle, a fickle creature. So uh, no doubt in a couple of months I will be swapping and changing and uh, mixing it up with some other pro um, products, so I will let you know. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it and it's helpful, and uh, please get in touch with me if you need any more um, advice on the products that I've spoken about. You can find me on Twitter, at Chloe Butcher, or of course on my blog, Oh So Chloe. See you soon. Bye.